Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop and welcome to my weather and nature page for Thursday, July the 27th. And it looks like more rain is on the way. Yeah, more rain. At least the temperatures are down just a little bit, but let's go to the weather maps right now and get this uh, uh, on the way and looking at the uh, national weather picture right now uh, most of the southeast is under moist air mass and more showers and thunderstorms are developing across our region and this is going to amplify during the late afternoon into the evening hours perhaps another heavy rain event is on the way as a matter of fact uh, flash flood advisories are in effect for a large portion of central and eastern south carolina and the north carolina and up into virginia but also in the portions of um, eastern uh, georgia in and around the augusta area the central savannah river area and also in the savannah area and of course all areas north into south carolina uh, expect to see the possibility of some moderate to heavy rains to be associated with this system that's coming on through as a matter of fact, we are beginning to see uh, rain developing across the southern uh, areas of Savannah out of Richmond Hill and Keller and eastern and central portions of, of Bryan County. And that's going to be moving north. We're also beginning to see some activity developing into the Hardyville, uh, South Carolina area. We can put this into motion. You can see uh, the activity is moving to the north, northeast. And that's what, going to be the trend this afternoon. So expect to see more development later this afternoon across the interior portions of southeastern Georgia and southern South Carolina, affecting eastward into the coastal counties. Now, let's take a look at something else. The here we go into the satellite imagery. I'm going to refresh it and bring it up to date. You can see a large plume of moisture cutting across eastern Texas into the southern Mississippi Valley, into the Tennessee Valley, and uh, with moisture uh, across Georgia into South Carolina, showers and thunderstorms developing across our region. Now let's go into the, um, uh, the Weather Prediction Center excessive rainfall outlook. And yes, look at that. There's a slight chance for excessive rainfalls of one to two inch rainfalls per hour at times across the eastern counties of Georgia and all of South Carolina and most and North Carolina uh, with a marginal risk elsewhere across our region. Also in eastern Texas, you're going to be very wet once again, but I'm more concerned about it. this area here, the greater Savannah Hilton Head area, more moderate to heavy rains are on the way. Let's take a quick look at the uh, computer model and the uh, high resolution models and it's showing the showers and thunderstorms yeah look at that developing during the afternoon hours uh, this is at uh, six o'clock uh, on the uh, thursday afternoon july 25th today's july 25th not the 27th uh, <laughs> 25th and uh, there we have uh, more showers and thunderstorms developing again for tomorrow, but not as much, but still enough where uh, the grounds are going to be saturated and then flash flooding could be possible once again. Uh, this is at uh, 8 o'clock Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. Going into Sunday, we're seeing a little bit of reprieve, a little bit of dry air coming down the coast, but then more moisture is going to return by Monday and Tuesday with the rain chances continuing to be high. Now, looking at the forecast uh, possibility of total precipitation over the next 24 to 48 hours, uh, significant rainfall, so one to two inches, maybe even three inches in portions of eastern Georgia into southern South Carolina. Up in the northeastern South Carolina, three to five inches of rain is possible up in those areas there but it's going to be I can hear the thunder rumbling right now it's going to be wet once again you know you know last couple of days we've or last you know several days we've seen some moderate to heavy rains three to five inches across greater savannah area that includes effingham county bryan county and buford county and jasper counties and uh, uh that was on monday on saturday we had three to five inches of rain across the central and eastern portions of chatham county the greater savannah area into uh, southern jasper and buford county so yeah, more rain is on the way now, uh, let's take a look further east into the Atlantic. You know, we had a very uh, active start to the hurricane season, but things have quieted down over the last several days after Barrel. And Barrel broke all kinds of records, the first ever Category 5 hurricane to develop in the month of June. Anyway, things have been relatively quiet, and ex I expect it to remain quiet for at least another week. Part of the reason behind that is this. Let me refresh this image here uh, to bring us up to date. And uh, nothing going on. There are a few tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa right now. But this area right in here, I'm going to circle it, 
uh, right in here. That is dust from the uh, Sahara of Africa. A little bit more dust coming off the coast, but it looks like the bulk of it is decreasing. That dust is dry air and it's an, an inhibitor for tropical storm development. So that's part of the reason why we haven't been seeing the tropical storm developing. And with the uh, uh, El Nino abating in the Pacific Ocean and La Nina developing, uh, the um, La Nina has the tendency to produce less winds across the tropical Atlantic Ocean, and the less wind shear, the better opportunity for tropical storm development. So with that being said, uh, by the early August to middle August, things could get very active in the tropical Atlantic Ocean. And that's August. <laughs> it, September is the peak of the season. We're going to have to watch out for September too, but uh, keep your guard up. Uh, and, and start preparing just in the event that we could be smacked by a, a, a strong tropical storm or a hurricane and uh, just get ready for some possible power outages, you know, if the system develops and moves into our area. Just, it's always best to be prepared. Okay, and then let's take a look at rest, the rest of the conditions across our area. And then we have on my website, if you would like to support me, there's ways right there. You can follow me on social media and support me through Patreon or buy me a cup of coffee. You know, I love my coffee. Anyway, uh, the forecast is calling for an 80% probability of rain today and again for tomorrow and going into Saturday. And then for Sunday, it drops just a little bit and into Monday and Tuesday, it starts going back up again by the middle of the week. And uh, we're gonna see those temperatures though around the upper 80s to lower 90s. So you can't complain too much about that, but the rain chances uh, you know, will keep that humidity very high as well. So uh, keeping in mind that the, the activity is already developing across our region, uh, it's going to be another wet one across the area and come with the rain and thunderstorms, particularly later in the afternoon and the evening hours will be that intense, vivid lightning uh, uh, display that we've been seeing with these thunderstorms and also strong gusty winds could be associated with it. And of course, <laughs> not to mention the very heavy rains uh, that could fall at, you know, could drop an inch of rain an hour or more uh, inch than an inch of rain per hour across any locations uh, that's in the flash flood watch. Actually, anywhere in the thunderstorms, we could see those very strong rains. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll be continuing to post you more. Uh, I just redone my computer system and my uh, uh, graphics systems and so forth. And that's part of the reason why you hadn't seen too much of me. I've been redeveloping this whole system to help produce some better images just for you. And I thank you very much for watching. And I guess the final word is stay dry if that's possible. Bye.